Doing <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I almost brain farted. <laughs> I am your host, Melissa. And I'm your co-host, Elisa. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast about Melissa's brain farts. <laughs> And this is our seventh episode. Woo! <laughs> Thank you for staying this long, listening, and watching our videos. For some of you guys who are just jumping in in the middle of the series, which is okay, do what you want. This is your life. But those of you who are just joining in right now, what is this Coffee Break podcast, you may ask? We are that friend you have not seen in, like, forever, or that cousin that just moved back into town, or, I don't know, some high school friend or elementary school that you tried to avoid, but then all of a sudden you see them at the coffee shop, and then you just start talking to them because you're a nice person, and then you realize you're late for work. Not happening in real life, but we like to talk about gossip, movies, uh, games, and honestly anything that gets us by with that sweet ice cold coffee. We also do a coffee of the day segment where we have one special coffee and we just tell you about fun facts about it. Like today is the... Americano. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people know what the Americano is. It's mostly, from what I've seen, delivered ice, which all coffee should be delivered ice. I think so. I disagree, (laughs) but okay. She's wrong. She knows she's wrong. But an Americano is just literally an espresso shot with a bunch of hot water in it. <laughs> and, fun fact, it's not a, like, a actual, actual origin of the story. It's unconfirmed. But this um, name was delivered during World War II where they decided to put um, a bunch of water in their special shots so they can evenly distribute it to the soldiers during World War II. Pretty cool. And then they just called it that, Americano. So, this yeah. This has been some, like, really strong coffee or espresso I, shot. I bet. You gotta <laughs> keep them awake, man. <laughs> gotta be on the edge. Gotta pay attention. Gotta pay attention. You know how it is. But, yeah, it's a pretty good, interesting. I know when I order it, it's actually pretty strong. I can't finish it. <laughs> like, it takes me literally the whole day to um, drink it because it's just so strong because yeah. it's literally concentrated coffee that's coming from, like, the coffee beans. Yeah. So it's just, yeah, I, I can't drink a lot of it. <laughs> let your ice melt. Yeah, I let my ice <laughs> melt, and I'm just like, now I can drink it. Or I'll put some, like, sweetener in it just to help me at least just get it done. Yeah. I either, like, made it or got it. So it's just yeah. like, okay, I got to drink it now. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Do you like Americanos? I think they're all right, yeah. Yeah, Americanos good. They're good. It's like standard coffee to me, honestly. It's not yeah. that not not that much different for regular coffee. That's I could true. be wrong, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another fancy name. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I just like the taste of it. It's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, any um fun facts that we want to discuss today with our fans before we go into... Our segment. Let's take a moment to admire <laughs> Elisa's donuts <laughs> that she made. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. It's little keychain donuts. Aren't they cute? Uh-oh. Our audio guy. Oh, yeah, our audio guy, <laughs> Joe's back. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah. You didn't get them from my Etsy. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa, for sharing that awesome fact. Well, they're right there. They are. They're like, what's that? <laughs> Decorations. <laughs> it is. What is our segment for today, Melissa? Today we're going to do just a small rant-a-thon with rant-a-thon. our little rants that are inside our Marauder's Map cup yeah. and mug. And um, we're going to just rant to let off some steam because, you know, just... The week has been just started ish, I guess. And I guess, am I? <laughs> get a little bit stressed out still mm-hmm. from last week or your weekend, what have you. Some people work on the weekends. Mm-hmm. So we're going to let off some steam by ranting about some small things that's not to be taken serious. We're just fooling around mostly. Mm-hmm. But there's like a little bit of it, like some realis- realism in here. 
Because <laughs> there are some things that do really irritate me about some of the things that we put out here. Yeah. Just, that's why I put them. <laughs> just allow us to complain just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's all a little ramp up on. Okay, do you want to start or should I start? You should start. Okay. You know, I never measured how much ounces can, like, fill into this. <laughs> like, it doesn't say on the bottom. It just said it was made in, like, Universal Studios. <laughs> Kids being rude. Well, I've never... <laughs> I never had this issue, so I'm going, to, I'm going to assume this is you. Yeah, I did that. you work with kids mostly. But I have met some really rude-ass kids. Sorry my, for my language. <laughs> 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 but I'm, like, I just really, really, the, the, the thing that really irritates me are kids that come to your place and then um, they... The parents just let them loose. Oh, yeah. Like, that, to me, is one of the things that irritates me the most. And these kids will be, like, super spoiled. And they're just, like, running around yeah. destroying things. <laughs> like, that kind of stuff mm-hmm. really, really irritates me. But, I mean, I don't have that much experience with it. Because, mm-hmm. our, our, like, my household, they don't. we're all basically adults. That's true. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you don't have kids we're, in your place. No. I mean, not saying I have kids. I hope no one thought that. Oh, she said I should have a kid. I have a fish that spits water. That's the only kid I have in my life. Basically. My Basically. kids consist of pets. Yeah, you have two cats and two dogs, right? No. Yeah, two, yeah, two dogs and then two fishes. She has a yeah. lot of kids. <laughs> she has a lot of kids, guys. Yeah, I mean, I mostly work with kids, and they're just... I, work, I see them like... Almost every single day. <laughs> sometimes, like, I see them on Sundays mostly because I'll nanny sometimes. And I'm just like, I don't want to see kids or have kids for a very long time. <laughs> because they're just like, yeah, it's just so weird. We do, like, like um, programs for the kids, like, either camped or after school stuff. Yeah. And, you know, like, you do this yourself. But kids act completely different than, their, like, when they're around their parents. Yeah, of course. But I remember one time I was doing an after school program. And the mom came in late with the kid and um, because some parents volunteer at the schools. Yeah. And uh, we're there and I'm telling the kids to do like the activity I told them to do. And she comes in. She only has like a few minutes before she leaves. She just want to come and talk to the teachers. And so she comes in and um, the mom was like, I told the mom what we're doing. She wanted her to do her homework. And she goes, oh, I want you to do the activity instead. And she tried whispering to the daughter on the side. But you know how kids are. <laughs> and she tells her, like, she's like, do the activity. She's like, no, mom, you get mad if I don't do the homework. She goes, no, no, I'll do your homework. <gasps> she literally said, I'll do your homework. And I was like, <laughs> and I was just like, What? And this one's a troublemaker kid, too. And I'm now I know why, because her mom literally lets her do anything she wants. And I was oh, like, no, 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 no. And then, like, she's like, Just don't tell anyone, right? So the minute the mom leaves, she goes, I get to do the activity because my mom's doing my homework. I'm like, you can't tell a kid not to, <laughs> like, not to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you can. Or, like, every time you tell a kid, like, hey, don't say this. We did an hour of, like, Act outdoors activity. We're supposed to only do 30 minutes. It's like my old, old job. And then the kids would be like, we did an hour of it. And I was like, why are you snitching? Why are you snitching? I get so mad. Because these kids are just like, they're so, ugh. They just do whatever you want. So I'm just like, okay. I had one kid bit me last week. Oh my God. Yeah, bit my shoulder. Luckily, my parents I was wearing, keep your kids under control. Teach them, them boundaries. Yeah, this kid was like, I thought he was crying, but I guess he was pissed. And then when I gave him a hug, he bit my shoulder. That was like a zombie attack move. Like if I if I did not know it was a kid, I would have snapped the neck. <laughs> I was just so like, okay, I'm done. Unless <laughs> I ran on kids, did I pick the next one? Yes. <laughs> People who always want to be or believe they are right. Oh, God. <laughs> That's way... <laughs> That's way to, um, to the core right now. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that when people are just like... Yeah. Like, I am the only one. I have friends like that. Yeah. And it's really sad. Because, like, I can be a little bit argumentative. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. I... 
it's one thing that I I will say about myself is that I like to argue. <laughs> I see you doing that a lot, too. And I'll just feel like, eh, she got to let it go. She got to let it go. And so I have, like, friends who are, like, super, like, um, they really, they're also really argumentative. I, I'm i just going to say it. They they argue a lot. And they have argumentative friends. Yeah. And <laughs> they like to be right all yeah. the time. And they'll go out of their way to, like, look up the shit just to be right. And it's. It's one of my biggest pet peeves because it's like once we get into a conversation, they'll just like post links after links just to prove that they are right. Yeah. And it's like this happens all the time on on my Discord channel. It's super annoying and like it gets everyone involved and it's just like, why? Why did it have to escalate to this point? Why did you do this? (laughs) No one asked for this, first of all. And then like their denial of when they're wrong is just like, "Ah, come on, just... Just stop. <laughs> I know. They keep at it. I have a friend that, like, will get into... It's a discussion. Like, because yeah. a lot of my friends are very into, like, history. And they're, they are smart. I'm going to tell you, like, they are smart. And I'm just, like, the oddball. That's, like, <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, semi knew that. Mm-hmm. And they just, they just know everything. And um, I remember I didn't know something about the Japanese economy. And I thought it was going one way instead of the other way. And my friend, he would not let it go. Like, he was saying, like... Yeah, well, it's this way. And I go, oh, well, this is what I heard, but I could be wrong. Okay. But then we'll be talking about something else. He's like, yeah, but it's this, Elisa. Yeah, Elisa, but it's this. And he keeps bringing it back. Oh, no. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I didn't I didn't ask for this. Okay? It was a mistake. I said it. I agree. I looked it up. You were right. Okay? <laughs> Stop bringing it to my intention. And that's when I was like. Oh, this, yeah. They're, like, insistent, like, insistent, shoving it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like. They just, like, try to, like, remind you that they were right. Like, those kinds of jabs, really, I cannot. I cannot. And we're just just like, okay, I get it. Like, (laughs) Melissa, this is coffee. No, no, it's not tea, Melissa, this is coffee. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is coffee. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm just like, stop! That gets me annoyed. I know, I'm like, just just shut up, shut up, shut up. I had to tell them to stop. It took them a year to stop. (laughs) Friends. Oh, my goodness. I know. I almost drop kicked them once. (laughs) All right, next one. It was small. Slow walkers. I'm assuming this is you too. Well, because means- I am a slow walker. Oh. <laughs> I thought I threw that one out, but apparently it's in there. But I do agree with you. And also slow drivers. I think this applies. Because- this applies to them. Yeah, this applies. Slow people in general makes me mad. <laughs> Slow drivers on the freeway. I can't. Oh, yeah. this happened to me not too long ago. Actually, I was uh, going into the exit to go um, to go to Little Italy, and um, there there was this one car that was uh, in front of another car that was in front of me. So it was mm-hmm. two cars. Yeah, and uh, we were the three of us were exiting onto the freeway, and this guy was like literally going twelve, like tw- I'm gonna say twenty five. Oh, wow. Exiting the freeway. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> We're going on the freeway. Why are you slow? Like, get it together. Get it together. <laughs> this is why accidents happen is because of you. Yeah, and so, like, the guy that's in front of me, who is in front of the slow guy, he, like, he kind of, like, tries to, like, because you know how it's, like, when you're on getting on the off-ramp or whatever. Yeah. And there's like the lines that you're technically not supposed to cross. Yeah. Well, he crosses it and gets onto the other way, onto the to the next lane over, and yeah. he, like he almost hits the car. I'm like, see, this is why you go fast. <laughs> <laughs> this was almost an accident. It's Honestly, like, it's, it's a really big issue, and it's just like one of those things that I just can't not can't. And then also when. When it's raining, it's just another story. It's just That's like, I can't. That's a whole big story. <laughs> I can't. I'm not That's even going to go into it because that will... No. No. <laughs> no. I know. We have... Um, I, I met someone at my art sale I had last Saturday, and he was right next to us, and he was talking about... He moved from New York, and he oh said, my. like, everyone is just, like, you know, hustling and bustling everywhere yeah. you go there, point A to point B and stuff like that. And he said when he came here, he was like, you have so many bad drivers that does not know how to drive the speed limit. Yeah. And I was just like... 
Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, like, as someone right. who's from here and lives here, like, like, I know we are, like, we have some of the worst drivers. drivers yeah. And it's like, it is a law. You can't be in the fast lane either going 55. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how you get a ticket. Yeah. It's an actual law. Like, yeah. you, they had, the, it's on the news. Like, if you think I'm wrong, go <laughs> look it up. But yeah, it's a law. Like, I think, I don't know how much the pricing um, for the ticket is, but. Um, especially on highways, like, you know, when there's only two lanes to go on to, the right one is for slow drivers, yeah, and then yeah. the left one is for uh, fast drivers. And so people will be on 55, and they'll, like, zoom around yeah. them to get, and they'll get pulled over, and they're like, I didn't know it was a law. Yeah. It's like, it's actually on our test when we take it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, the new updated one, not the one I think I took. I had to retake the driving test for my work. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm just like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Should I pick another one? Yes. Although I will say that East Coasters need to realize that down here we live a different type of lifestyle. Yes, we do. So, uh, also, like, not everything's like 30 minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> when I used to live in South Carolina. So, speeding is not always the option. It's not always the option. <laughs> it's not. Be careful when you drive. <laughs> oh my God. I forgot about that one. <laughs> it's, um,. San Diego drivers when it rains. Oh, we don't were just get me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will tell you a story that happened probably two days ago. Oh, I was going to go pick up my sister from work, and uh, like I'm going probably fifty something on the freeway because it's the the truck that I drive. It's uh, it's. It's kind of like the tires are not, they need to be switched. Yeah. It's obvious. It's yeah. not my car, it's my mom's car. But the the tires, they need to be uh, switched because uh, there's no grip on them anymore. I can okay. tell because when I try to make like a, a right-hand turn or something, the tires will just keep spinning, but I'm not going anywhere. Uh-huh. And that keeps happening. <laughs> so, yeah, it's scary. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's well. scary. And so, like, I'm going pretty slow because I don't want to, uh, you know, what, I forgot what it was called, but do you know what it's called? Hydroplane? When you, yeah, hydroplane. hydroplane That's yeah. right. Uh, so I don't want a hydroplane because yeah. I've, I've seen it happen, and I've been in a car when it happens, and it's scary as hell, mm-hmm. and I, <laughs> I don't want a hydroplane. And mm-hmm. it was like one of the first of two days or whatever when it rains, and usually that happens around that time. Yeah. And so uh, I was going pretty slow, and... I the guy this like guy who was behind me uh, who was in a jeep and he was going uh, he was going pretty fast yeah. pretty fast he was uh he was like on my butt and uh and it was technically my fault yeah it was the car in front of me who was also going slow <laughs> <laughs> but I was always oh, someone in front of you I, it is it is but um but it, like I was keeping in peace with him too because I wasn't trying to go fast. It's freaking raining. It's scary and I don't want to get in an accident, obviously. And so he like zips past me, like six into zips into the next lane over and the car uh, goes over into the next lane, the slow driver, oh. and he speeds <gasps> it and nearly hits the guy oh. and I'm just like, "Oh my god." Okay, well you oh almost witnessed <laughs> someone getting hit just because the guy what was, was like too frustrated or whatever and thought I was going too slow for him and so he almost got an accident. I was like, really, was that worth it? I know, was, was it worth it? it? <laughs> Let's be a little patient now, <laughs> San Diegans. <laughs> Let's be just like... a bit patient. I know, that's so crazy. I had a friend that she didn't mention it to me, but honestly, if you don't like driving in the rain, don't ever feel like you have to drive in the rain unless you're going to work. Yeah. Like that's the only reason you should or coming home. If you had a hangout that day you don't like driving in the rain because of other people or you're not comfortable with it, don't drive in the rain. That's okay. If other people want to make fun of you for it, they can, you can ignore them, honestly. I'm not going to say the other phrase. Yeah. But you can ignore them because they're just being rude and disrespectful. But <laughs> my friend did not tell me that she does not like driving in the rain. And so she does not know how to fix the hydroplane. Like when she doesn't know what to do when the oh, okay. hydroplane yeah. is happening. So luckily we were on the street and her like a uh, neighborhood street and she was driving. Her car goes into a hydroplane because there's a dip in the street yeah. and it's just filled with water. Yeah. Because it's a very like flooded area. And she goes in and she hits her brake and the car starts twirling. <gasps> no. And so I started freaking out, but I was trying to be calm for her and I told her, I grabbed her hand, and I said, 
don't press anything. Don't press anything. Don't press yeah. anything. I swear yeah. to God, if you're going to kill us right now, don't you dare press anything. <laughs> and I told her, stop, stop. And then she stops. Like, she doesn't do anything. And we go back to normal. And we yeah. go on a, on a dirt. Yeah. And I'm totally okay with that. Luckily, it's not a busy street or a busy neighborhood. Yeah. But I was so I was frustrated at her that she does not know how to hide, like w- like do on hydroplanes. Because that's yeah. part of our test when we take our driver's license. Yeah. That's the one thing I remember during, like, anytime it rains, anytime it snows, which it never snows here. <laughs> but I'm just like, I always keep that in mind, like, what to do in such situations like those. Because those, you can, you can, like die or get into many accidents yeah so i always like keep aware of those but she told me like after that she was crying and i was trying to come for her and i told her if you didn't want to drive in the rain you could have told me and she said i just didn't want you to think i can't do this and i go i don't care (laughs) i care about your comfortability (laughs) i don't like driving in the rain i will cancel i don't like driving with other people in the rain yeah i know i can drive through it but i told her if you don't know how to do certain stuff you might want to look it up because when you hydroplane you don't press on the gas (laughs) Just let your car glide across yeah. it. Just let your car do its magic. And <laughs> like, just let it do whatever it wants. <laughs> just do whatever you want. Like, just stay calm. I hate, probably because I work with kids and I always have to be calm. Like, if someone gets hurt or something happens, yeah. I'm always calm. So when people start freaking out in situations like that or something like that, it makes me mad because I'm like, stop freaking out and fix the problem. Yeah. That makes me so mad. That's another thing. <laughs> No, my sister's the same way. She's right. a freaker outer. Uh, that's I can't her do freaking that. word. Mm-hmm. But she can't handle tough situations. And so mm-hmm. I have to be like the right side minded person. Like the, just be the more calmer person and just deal with the situation. Because uh, right. she will let emotions just take like over. take over. And yeah. I, I can't do that. Sometimes my coworkers <laughs> when we, who work with kids, they show it too. But that's mostly when it's just us. Which is fine. But when it's other, like, kids around, they're, they're okay. Yeah. But they're, like, freaking out. And I'm just like, hey, 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 hey. calm down. Yeah. Calm down. Take a chill pill. Take a breather. Let's, like, figure this out. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's fine. Sometimes they'll freak out. <laughs> which makes me mad. And it shows my angry. And I'm just like, stop freaking out. And they're like, what's wrong? I'm like, you're freaking out makes me mad. <laughs> It's a weird, it's a weird thing to be mad yeah. about, but it's just. And I'm like the type of mad for like where I, if I'm mad, I'm just get quiet. Like I don't, so, I don't, yeah. I don't like externally like show mm-hmm. my anger. Like I usually internalize everything. Yeah. So when I'm angry, I don't show anger, but like yeah. there's a time and a place to be, <laughs> for panic. And sometimes like I can't, yeah. I can't do that. So like I shut emotions out and just, you know, deal with the situation. Mm-hmm. And I think like. A lot. Of, it's really tough for a lot of people, but it's just something that I've learned to do through yeah. growing up. Because mm-hmm. stuff happens. Yeah, <laughs> and, and we are raised the way that we are. Sometimes, yeah. Depending, yeah. yeah. With certain people, like I'm close to, like I'll do to you. I'll do it to our sound engineer guy. I get. I'll show you my anger because I can do it around you guys. because yeah. I know you won't care, so I'm just like, bye everything. <laughs> but around other people, I'm just like internally screaming like. <laughs> With kids, though, I showed up my anger so they can fear me. <laughs> like, I will come after you, child. <laughs> nah, you I, oh, more? Yeah. Is, Is there more? What time? What, do we have enough time? All right, cool. <laughs> thanks, sound guy. I know. Thanks, dude. You're awesome. Lazy people. Oh, Lazy my God. people. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's lazy. No, she's not lazy. She's not lazy. I'm kidding. <laughs> she gonna kill me. I'm basically a housekeeper. I know. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, you take care of so many fishes and cats. I I can't be lazy, honestly. Because no. if, if I'm lazy, like the whole, like my whole environment just goes, goes to south. Yeah, just goes poop. Because <laughs> I have to take care of my pets. And, like, they're all very, like, much need my attention, which is completely fine. I mean, they're my pets. Yeah. And they show me their affection and, they love and like, their appreciation. So it's mm-hmm. just like, oh, cool. Um, like, even my fish. It's freaking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Her fish are cute, though. Except for the beta fish. He actually glared at me So if while. people say fish don't have personalities, that's not true. They do. They do. And they appreciate when you clean their tank. Mm-hmm. So clean your tank. Or put water in it. <laughs> hey, I did clean my fish's tank. I left the dang heater on in there. 
So he got mad at me. Like, he usually calm, but I left the heater on for, like, a day. Yeah. And then the water evaporated a bit. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, Mochi. <laughs> My fish name is Mochi. And he literally was, like, swimming in a circle, hitting the glass at me, saying, yeah. what is your deal right now? And I was like, I'm sorry. Like, oh, my gosh. So it was just like, yeah, they show emotions. Yeah. They do. Yeah. <laughs> so like with what's ha- what happens in my household a lot of times is because they do have like the full time jobs like the nine to five jobs. Yeah. So they they yeah I get that they're tired and whatever and I get that they have to come home and then do things at home and then sometimes they don't want to but I mean it's every single freaking day yeah. like it seems like it's like I'm tired too of like doing things and you know hustling mm-hmm. out here trying to do stuff and then like have to come home and clean up after everybody yeah which most of the time it doesn't bother me because sometimes i like just being on the move yeah but at the same time it's just like i would appreciate like someone else having to do, do dishes yeah. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like it's like i can't do everything like and it's like on top of having to uh, to like clean the litter boxes and feed pets and do water changes and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just like, now I have to like clean bathrooms and all of this stuff. It's just, yeah. it's, it's a lot of stuff to do. And, and some people, they just don't want to do it. It's just no. really annoying. No, they don't and I, it's just like, just once in a while, I would really appreciate it if you did it. <laughs> that needs to be on a shirt. Once in a while with Melissa's face doing this. <laughs> Just, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Clean your shit. <laughs> Lay it. <in. laughs> Sorry for my language. It's okay. It's okay. We understand we're adults here, some of us. Yeah, it's kind of hard because I'm technically a sailor, so I can't. Yeah, I know, right? I work with a lot of others. <laughs> Not technically. I mean, I curse like a sailor a lot of the times, so censorship for me is a little difficult yeah. sometimes because some of my friends mothers and fathers and stuff like that are like super critical yeah and so like i have to tone it down <laughs> i know sometimes i'm just like take but it back take I, it back yeah i can't help it i let some words slip <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's okay <laughs> I had to change my language when I'm with little kids because I'll be oh, like, yeah, instead right, of like, right. dag, nab it, like, you know, yeah, like, I'm like, yeah. dag, nab it, whippersnap. Like, I talk like I'm 80 years old. I'm like, what do you think you're doing, little whippersnapper? And they're all like, what? And they think it's a joke. And I'm just like, no, I'm being serious. Stop it right now. Just or bust like, out some, like, um, SpongeBob curse words, like barnacles. Oh, yeah. Bar- oh, barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> or a dolphin noise. <laughs> Could you imagine? Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that was good out <laughs> Next one? Next one? There's more? <laughs> I think so. Do yeah. we have do we have time for another one? Okay. Can I can I please grab okay there we go. They were like all <laughs> slipping out of my fingers. I'm like, okay, okay. Oh. Left? oh uh, quite a few. We only have a few. Well, do you want to do this one? I mean, I haven't dealt with rude customers in forever. Okay, we're not doing that. <laughs> I know, it's been a while. It's more just crazy parents that throw stuff at me. What's this one? Oh, no, not that. Wait. Oh, no, this is the wrong question. <laughs> Why is that in there? I don't know. No, we're not doing this one. For another <laughs> second. <laughs> it was watered coffee. We're not doing that. <laughs> That is you. That is me. People that can't separate work from life. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that can that can be. Remember uh, we we were part of another company called Octopro Games. I don't know why I said the name. But <laughs> um I'm just not saying the name of the people that was in there, but there were some people in that old company that was um Kind of what made me start hating certain <laughs> types of um, friendships. Because <laughs> we used to work with uh, some of our friends, and a lot of them could not separate like from work oh, to yeah, like yeah. personal stuff. So we honestly lost a lot of friends because they didn't like my critiques towards them. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just mostly that. Like people who I don't couldn't think really separate. <laughs> Like, constructive criticism versus real criticism. Real criticism, yeah. Because there's always, like, there's criticism and there's opinion. Mm-hmm. Like, you can tell, <laughs> you're going to tell the difference, like, when someone says, like, that lighting should have been blue instead of red. 
Why? Because I like blue better than red. That's an opinion. You know yeah. what I mean? Saying like you should change the whole like color scheme. If you had a color scheme and they didn't go off of it, you can be like, well, this was the color scheme. Can you adjust certain colors to it? Because that will make it pop more. Like if you have reason behind yeah. your criticism, that's a criticism. That, that's criticism. Yeah, that's it's not an opinion. Yeah, it's constructive criticism. It's not an opinion. But a lot of people did not understand that, especially when we went to the art school. It was like, no. Yeah, because no they would just that. like go argue about something and then like about your critique because they they couldn't take it, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then um, and uh, they just would take it to heart. Yeah, they would take it to heart. And then they would just keep keep it after. And it was just like, why? Yeah. Just let it go, bro. Like, just like, let it go. <laughs> I, I just got, I just realized this year I got blocked from a friend I've known since I was in elementary school and I haven't talked to her and the last time I talked to her was good. Like, I never said anything bad of her. Like, I swear, I never said anything bad of yeah. her. And if I ever had anything bad or critiques on, like, how she should handle situations, i tell it to her in the face. Yeah. But she basically said to her sister that told me and the other two guys that owned the company that she didn't want to be our friend anymore because, well, one guy was completely rude to her, and he was a problem. Yeah. But since I was friends with him, she didn't want to do anything with me anymore. But I was the one that was sticking up for her the whole time. Yeah. And if she blocked me, which is like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like, she's not a close friend, but still, like, I was on your side. Yeah. Oh, but you let one person decide, like, I hate that. I hate when people are just like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. And, like... And, re- and when we were friendship-wise, we were cool. We were, like, calm and everything like that. But professional-wise, we had to, like, we butt ahead because we're all creative people, but he yeah. heads to each other. But, no, she was just like, I don't want to talk to any of you guys. And I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> honestly, you weren't in my mindset. Now I'm just like, I don't ever want to see you again for being so immature. Yeah. Like, it's really immature. I'm like, okay, I'm never going to see you again <laughs> anyway. <laughs> like, you went to writing. <laughs> Not whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say anything else before we close the segments? Um, no, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And this is sponsored by Elite Twenty Three Shopping. If you need some new sweaters, especially with the winter coming and all the rain, go buy, stop by Elite Twenty Three Shopping. We got some cool sweaters for both men and women. Yeah. Try typing in it's coffee break podcast. No, it's C B um C B P. C B P for thirty percent off off your whole purchase. C B P. C B P. Do you wanna do you wanna plug in actually before do you wanna plug in your Etsy? My Etsy? Yeah. Oh, okay. What is my Etsy? <laughs> <laughs> and if you want a cool donut just like this, I will put them on um, another little mini market I own called um, um, River Dash E Element um, Art on Etsy. I'll I'll put a link on the yeah. bottom and everything like that. Link if you want some some donuts, I'll be adding that to it also. And yeah, there's other cool stuff um, that you guys can check out also. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, <laughs> and some of her stuff is on there too. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. Duh. <laughs> Thank you guys. We'll see you in your next episode. Pew, 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 pew.